Hi, Matt Roberts, Director of Player Development here at Briar Creek. Today I want to give our members a tip to help land the club on the ground in a consistent location or control the bottom of the swing. A lot of times when players struggle with fat and thin strikes, the first place they're going to pick up that feedback is in the hands. I want us to do a better job of managing or monitoring our feet in the golf swing at two very specific points. The first point being the top of the swing, where I like to see players start to straighten that right leg, displace pressure onto the back foot, and then the second place is in transition, where I want our players to feel a very early shift from right foot to left foot to start the downswing. What I see a lot of players doing who are struggling with fat and thin strikes are they move the ball position too far back in their stance, which might make some sense, but really causes more harm than good. Then what I see them doing is mismanaging the lateral motion. And then I see them sort of faking this finish onto the front side. So they might be getting there, but it's not happening soon enough. The second thing I see players doing is mismanaging the rotational component of the swing, leading to, again, thin strikes, fat strikes. So I'll demonstrate the two motions, getting to the top, mismanaging the lateral, faking the finish, and then mismanaging the rotational component of the rib cage and the pelvis. Let's do a demonstration where I hit one solid. Monitor your feet, get your pressure forward earlier in transition will help you put the club on the ground later in the swing and closer to the ball. Thanks.